Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to the original Fallout. Last time, we visited the military base to the north for the second time. We went back and cleaned out the super mutants. We got rid of the lieutenant and the lieutenant's guards. And by we, I pretty much mean Katja. She's a one-man army. She cleared out the super mutants, so I'm glad we recruited her and brought her along. Ian was hiding for the most part. But we reported in. We told the Brotherhood that we have done that task for them, and they thanked us. And I think we've only got one thing left to do. We have to go to the Cathedral of the Children to the far south, just below the Junkyard and the Boneyard, and finish off all of the soup mutants that are there. First things first, I'm going to try and find some better supplies. So, this gunsmith here, Knight Paul. Hello again, Initiate Nun. What can I help you with? Uh, can I get some weapons, maybe? Uh, the, oh, hold on. I have to go through the whole authorization process. Can I barter with you, at least? No, no. All right, never mind. How about this guy? Ah, so you're the one, huh? Uh, yeah. I'm surprised. No one has ever made it back from the Ancient Order. Uh, then why did they send me down there? They expected me to die? Ha, huh, I guess they just wanted to get rid of you, huh? Well, joke's on them. Uh, yeah, joke's on them. I completed their task and I killed all the super mutants, so they should be more grateful than they are. And, um, the only reason I joined was to get some power armor. Can I get some power armor? I'd give you this power armor right here, but it's missing its systolic motivator. It's useless without it. Where can someone get a systolic motivator? Well, they've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn forums say that this particular suit isn't up to spec. Damn bureaucrats. So if I brought you this thing, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple of hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. That's fair. I'll be back. Michael, huh? Go talk to Michael. Which one was Michael again? I'll figure out which one is Michael. I need to get this power armor. Somebody named Jerry is over here. Hello, Jerry. A young initiate named Jerry. I don't think I talked to you yet. Ah, there. You must be Brother Nun, the new initiate from the outside. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm new. I've been... Well, yeah, sure. I'm the new initiate. My name's Jerry. I'm your new roommate. I'm on an initiate trial, too. I've been studying so hard. Are you an initiate knight or scribe? Uh, knight, I suppose. I've done a lot of knight work. Yeah, being a knight would be great. They see a lot of action and get to build all the stuff. I haven't decided yet, but I'm leaning towards a knight myself. Am I boring you? Some people say I talk a lot. Yeah, I've got to go. Uh, let's trade. Oh, you're not going to trade? Well, it was nice meeting you. Oh, by the way... I'm glad you'll be my new roommate. My last one always wore earplugs. I don't know why. Anyhow, feel free to leave anything you like here. I don't take up much space. Do you want the top bunk? I'll change if you want. You don't snort, do you? It doesn't matter. See you later. Yeah, okay, we're done talking. Bye. There's Michael. Yes, Michael is outside of this Brotherhood's training room. Let's talk to Michael here. Hello again. How are you doing today? How can I help you? I'm looking for a systolic motivator. Do you have the proper authorization? Uh, no, but it is imperative that I get that part. If you don't have authorization, you cannot get replacement parts. Please, I really need this part. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Just like that, huh? <laughs> okay, here you go. Just don't tell anyone that I gave this to you. Rhombus would have my head if he knew I had given the parts out without proper authorization. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Now, tell us. Brother Nun, I've received word from Brother Jonathan. Thank you for rescuing him. You're welcome. As for your reward, I'll give you the choice of one of the following. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, power armor. Uh, no, I, I'm pretty much already on a quest to get power armor. Super sledgehammer. Uh, it's tempting. Oof. Uh, I guess we'll go with the super sledgehammer. I, the rocket launcher is not going to work for me because I don't have explosives for it. The laser pistol, probably not better than the weapon I have right now. The power armor? Yeah, I don't think I need power armor. I'm about to repair my own power armor, so give me the super sledgehammer. Go pick it up from Michael. Okay, I will go do that. Okay, I forgot to turn that quest in apparently, but it's done now. And Michael has given me the sledgehammer, which I think I will promptly give to Ian. Since he's so, so heavily favoring using his hands, why don't you take the sledgehammer? I'm probably not going to use it myself. Hello, were you able to get that part? Yes, here it is. Great, let me just install that into the unit. Okay, you're all set to go. Here, take this manual. If you have any kind of aptitude with repairing things, you should have no problem. Good luck. Okay, so this one right here, power armor parts. Do I just use the repair skill on it then? 
Uh, yeah, I can't use it until it's repaired. It's so a use repair on it. And we gain 500 experience points for repairing the power armor. And is that it? Powered armor. It's too heavy. Okay, okay I'm going to have to lighten my load before I put that on. And here we have it. This is the armor. Powered armor. Put that on. It's pretty strong. It's very strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I think that might be the best armor in the game. It's. I think it's better than the combat armor they gave me. Armor class 30. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to take this power armor. And we're going to use it to fight the super mutants that are underneath the cathedral. Okay, this is our new look now. We have full-fledged power armor. It's pretty intimidating, right? Those pretty wide shoulder blades. I know Couch and Ian are jealous, but I've only got the one suit, and it's not like they would equip any armor I gave them anyway. So we're going to take this armor, and we're going to start heading south. Going to make our way through the LA Boneyard. Stop there, see if there's anything for us. But that's just a brief layover. We've got our destination in mind. We're going to visit the cathedral. We are now prepared for our long journey to the south. We will head from the Brotherhood down to the Boneyard. We've already cleared out the junk town and the hub, and the glow doesn't have a whole lot for us, but I think the boneyard is on our way to the cathedral. Yeah, in fact, the boneyard is only two squares north of the cathedral, so it's worth stopping there to see what's there. But first, we have to fight some giant scorpions, which won't be a problem, I don't think. Ah, uh, yeah, rad scorpions are not a threat in the slightest. And we're back. We're back here at the boneyard. Let me just put my weapon away. Yeah, I'm not firing laser fire around here. We've helped out the blades. Yes, this is the town with the blades, I believe. And there are a lot of corpses lying around. Yeah, metal armor scattered everywhere. Remnants of the regulators that we helped destroy and eradicate. So I guess we'll poke around here, see if there's anything for us, but I doubt there is. Hey, there's a guy named Smitty here. I remember Smitty. Smitty helped me. Uh, yeah, there's also another guy here. I can't remember what his name was, the uh, egghead. But Smitty helped me. Yeah, and he remembers how I killed his, his friend, so he's not, yeah, he's not going to talk to me. That's fine. I'm just going to loot around, poke around, try and find some stuff. Don't mind me. And Razor, leader of the Blades. You remember me? Yes, she does, and she's thanking us. Good. Let's keep going. And the Gunrunners. Yes, we're back here with the Gunrunners. Do I have any Nuka Cola? Uh, maybe, but you can't have it. Zack. You want to buy weapons? Let's see what you have to trade. Yeah, can you give me a discount for all the work I've done? Sure. All right, show him what you got. He's got explosives, ammunition, have uh, no. No, I don't think he's going to have anything significantly better than what I have equipped. Although that plasma pistol looks kind of cool. But no, no, I don't think we need any of this stuff. All right, well, the gun runners did not have anything new for us. And you know, it's probably very bad for their health. They've just got this moat of radiation and radioactive waste. They've got it in barrels right outside their building. They're probably all being heavily irradiated. So, yeah, let's not stick around. They're probably going to turn into ghouls. So we don't want to be here when that happens. Let's go. What's going on in this building behind the followers? Got a couple of guys here. A burly bounty hunter with a button that reads, I'm Christopher and you're meat. And a couple other thugs here. Buzz off. Yeah, they're, they're just thugs. They're not very talkative. What do you want? A donut. Uh, no, I, I'm just looking around. Well, poke around somewhere else. You know, on any other day, I'd probably kill you, but you're just not worth my time. I've got someone more important to see. Someone more important to kill. Okay, here we go. Making our way to the cathedral. We're going to have to slog our way through all these super mutants, and it's going to take some time, but... Yeah, let's head to the interior. Oh, all right. And we've already cleared out. Yep, the ground floor is good and clear, and all the above ground floors are also empty. We're going to have to go down to the basement. Yes, this cave underneath looks familiar. And all these blood stains. yep, they were our doing. We've been through here before. We were able to take out these lower-ranked enemies, but once we got to the final battle, it was just way too much for us. So... Let's try again, this time with power armor and laser weaponry, and, uh, well, I guess there's only three of us now. We came here with dog meat before, but, you know what, let's just go. Let's get it done. Five mutants here. Ooh, do I want to start a fight with these guys? It's possible we could just go around them, right? I remember we did that last time. I don't know if we have to fight these super mutants to end the game, 
But I know the master is in the far back room. Just walk by him. He might not be... Yeah, this is a very imperceptive mutant. And walk past these children. They don't seem to mind that I'm here. It's fine. You are not the one I'm here to kill. Although I might do it on the way out just for funsies. Ugh, back to this... Oh, yep, organ-soaked hallway. And we take damage. Ugh. Yeah, we're taking damage as we're progressing. So let's heal ourselves and our companions. They're going to need some health. And here he is. The big man himself. The master, the head honcho, we finally meet for the second time. Let's try talking to him, maybe we can talk him down, but it didn't work the first time. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. Oh, there will be death today, but not mine. I've got a plan. Oh, please, what sort of plan might that be? I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to dance on your bloody remains. You think you can destroy me? Destroy me? I don't think I can destroy you the first try, but I think if I keep at it, persistence will be key. By the way, would you like to barter? No. All right, let's fight then. Ow, ow, ow. Ian, you okay? Oh, Ian is dead immediately. And Katya goes down. Yep, dead immediately as well. And the mutant behind me keeps trying to fire on me, but he misses every time and hits the master. So keep shooting the master. Keep doing damage to this guy. They cannot do any damage to me. And the super mutants behind me just keep on missing, which is very amusing. I don't think you understand just how thick this armor is. I can't be destroyed by you. I can be lightly damaged, but I've got plenty of stim packs. You can't stop me. Whoa! There he goes! Wow, that was a very short battle. Honestly, I expected a lot more. I thought that was going to be one of the worst battles possible. But I guess we're not done yet. I, I guess we did lose Katya and Ian immediately. But it's not my fault. It's their fault. Because they won't put on the armor I gave them. If they had tried, they would have lived. But they just... They were done. They were done fighting by my side. They just wanted to be done with it. So I guess I'm going to have to fight my way out of here now. Something very strange has happened. Something very unfortunate has happened. I don't have my gun anymore. I don't know what happened to my gun. I definitely did not de-equip it. I think I might have just dropped it after being struck. I'm not sure. I don't see it on the ground though. I hope it didn't break. I might have to restart. Or I might have to run for it. I'm not sure where it went, but losing my weapon is probably going to be very bad. I'm sure Ian wouldn't mind if I take some of the stuff out of his inventory. Not like he's going to use it anymore now that he's dead. Uh, yeah. We'll take some of the stuff. I've got a real problem here. The problem is I've got a countdown going. The timer is ticking down. There's, this place is about to self-destruct. Meanwhile, I'm surrounded on all sides by two super mutants and two robots. They're just striking me relentlessly. And they can't kill me. They're not doing enough damage to kill me. But they are in my way and I need them to get out of my way. Come on. Move out of my way, please. Oh, and they killed me. Well, all things considered, the master is not too difficult. But getting out of here while being swarmed by his goons, that is probably what's going to be what kills us over and over again. We can try this again. We can try this several times, but it's probably going to come down to luck and chance again. And Ian was dead immediately. The moment I got out of the conversation screen, he opens fire and kills Ian. There's no way around that. He's just going to die. Maybe we could save Katya, but I really doubt it. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, that one I didn't even get the master with. That, oh. that time, three super mutants came up behind us, killed Katya and Ian immediately, and the master... Oh, wow, that one was a really bad go. All right, take three. I suppose maybe we can fire on these guys? No, oh, no, we're not gonna be able to hit them. Nope, nope. All right, what I'm gonna do is run down here. So my companions down, come down here. Yep, come down here, guys. Come on down here. And then I'm going to sprint ahead so they're not clustered near me when he uses the Gatling gun on my face. Here we go, here we go. My patience is almost at an end with you. Now will you join the unity or not? Join. Not. What do you think? Your humor will not save you now. 
Do you accept my offer or not? Not! Accept! Yeah, sure, I accept your offer. Excellent. Your talents will be... Useful. But first, you must tell me everything about your vault. Yeah, sure, what do you want to know about my vault? No, I wasn't actually gonna tell him, I was... I was being snarky, I was being sarcastic! Okay. I guess this time around, I confessed where my vault is and all the secrets, and this is the bad ending. Alright, let's watch the bad ending. Looks like I'm getting dipped into this tub of green goo to be turned into a super mutant. I don't know why I'm struggling. My character accepted this fate. He decided that's what he wanted to do, so... Yeah. Yeah, now I'm big, green, and scaly. Master race. And we have ransacked Vault 13. Now, we found that water chip for nothing because we've dragged all of the inhabitants out and turned them into mutants as well. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is definitely the bad ending. Or good ending, I guess, if you're looking at it from the mutant's perspective. You can't run, but you can't hide. You can also bleed if you wanted to. You know what? They kind of deserve this. If they had come with me, if they had given me some support instead of just sending me out there to die, then this wouldn't be happening. This is kind of all on you. And there's the overseer. Oh, he's fighting off. Oh, no, he can't fight him off. They're, they've overpowered him and they've punched him in the face. Forgive me for indulging in a little schadenfreude as I watch him die. But no, seriously, let's do it properly this time. Companions come over here. I get out my weapon. He opens fire on me. I take a bunch of damage, but Ian and Katja are still alive. I'll advance for a little bit as well. Oh, yeah, and now the two are shooting at him. But they survived the first barrage, which is definitely a step in the right direction. And for some reason... Uh, these eye bots, these floating eyes, are joining me in the fight. That's kind of weird. But that's fine. Well, we're doing much better this time around. Both of our companions are still alive and dealing with some damage. <laughs> Not a whole lot of damage, mind you, but still, they're alive. It's progress. Ian, what are you doing? No. No, Ian, you cannot walk up to the master and start punching him at ground level. It's not going to work. Stick to using firearms, despite the fact that sometimes they're not very accurate. Katja is doing well, fighting off these invading super mutants. Ian is punching the master. It's doing a little bit of damage. I can't criticize him. It's actually working. Although I suspect it would be better if he used a firearm. Those robots are joining us. I don't know why, but I'm not going to question it. That super mutant is trying to flank me, but I'm sure Kachi will put him down. Yep, yep, he's not a threat. Ian goes hog wild, punching this guy. Meanwhile, I'll aim for his eyes, try and blind him. Got him that time. And there we go, we've got him again. There we go, we got him proper this time. Nice explosion. Yep. Alright, now we need to get out of here. Come on, get out of here. There we go. Oh, I completely disintegrated that guy. All right, any more mutants coming up behind us? No, nope, doesn't look like it. That's the end of the reinforcements. Okay, now it's time to get out of here. And hey, we leveled up from doing that. So, okay, let's briefly distribute some skill points and get a perk, just really quickly. Ooh, we have the ability to take mental block. That could have come in useful while I was heading towards this mind-destroying monstrosity. But I suppose it doesn't matter at this moment. Uh, really, we've kind of beaten the game. We're trying to get out of here as fast as possible. So just pick one. We'll go with Dodger. Less likely to be hit in combat? Yeah, we'll take Dodger. And we'll distribute some skill points. We're just going to dump them all on energy weapons. Let's get out of here. Let's just fight our way out of here. Hey, how you guys doing? By the way, I killed your master. I'm getting out of here. See you later. See you later, you dumb super mutant. Didn't even realize I was right behind him. This place is about to explode, but I, I suppose you can stay here if you wanted to. It's fine by me. Makes no difference. Maybe go into the back room and see if you can resuscitate your master. That's, that's probably what you should spend the last few minutes of your life doing. Get out. Run. 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 
We've only got two minutes left. I'm sure we've got plenty of time, but let's just make sure we're not anywhere near this church when it goes up in flames. Boy, I can't believe we survived that. What's more, I can't believe we survived that with both Ian and Katya both alive. I thought it was going to be inevitable that they would not survive that final battle, no matter how many times we tried it. But sure enough, there was a way, and the three of us are now leaving. We're getting out of here. Go, 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 go to the exit grid. And we made it! And now we get to watch the fireworks. Oh, <laughs> That's what I think of you, master. That's what I think of your church. Oh, spectacular! Now we don't even have to make a journey back to Vault 13. The game just acknowledges that we have beaten the game. The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But, it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. After the mutant armies advance, they leave a truly dead city behind them. I guess I could have saved the ghouls the there. The mutant armies, led into battle by the fierce super mutants, destroy the followers of the apocalypse. Barely human carrion feeders pick over the followers' remains. Oh, could I have stopped that from happening? In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Hooray! At least there's a little bit of good news. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. Okay. The hub disperses before the might of the mutant army and will never recover. The hub probably wouldn't have recovered from what I did to it. The desert raiders eventually regroup and manage to terrorize small communities in the years following your adventures. Wait, didn't I destroy the desert raiders? I'm pretty sure I destroyed pretty much every one of them. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. Good question. What happened to you? You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. Why, thank you. I appreciate the admonishment, Overseer. I'm, I'm also proud of what we've accomplished. There's no way the people of the Vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. Uh, yes. <laughs> that sounds like what Amada says in Fallout 3. Don't tell me you're kicking me out. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? He's kicking me out. He's kicking me out of Vault 13 after everything I did. They'll want to leave. What happens to the Vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. You know, the very simple solution here would just be to forbid me from saying anything about my adventures. That would probably be the best of both worlds. I have saved your lives, and you reward me properly for it, and I get to stay with all these people, and maybe even teach them some valuable survival skills. It seems like this is kind of forced. <sighs> I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. If you say so. And we are just kind of stuck here, and we are banished from Vault 13. 
And that's the end. <laughs> and now we become a lone wanderer. Well, I suppose that maybe Katja and Ian would still stay by my side. Maybe I can find a pet like Dogmeat. Uh, Dogmeat the second. Or maybe I'll just wander off into the wasteland and die. Well, that was an interesting experience. I've never played this game before, but it's nice to see where where the roots of this series lie, where Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas get a lot of inspiration. Some of my favorite games owe their existence to this particular game, and it's not bad, it still holds up. Granted, the gameplay is completely different, and it can be quite frustrating at times, but hey, that describes Fallout to a T anyway. If you wanted to play this game yourself, you could probably save Necropolis, you could probably save the people at the hub, not, not the regulators, but the, you know, the good people, the good townsfolk that I accidentally slaughtered, and the people at Junktown. You could probably save Killian, do some quests for them. That's a bunch of content in this game that I just wasn't able to tackle. So, if you feel like doing this yourself, you can look forward to a lot of stuff you haven't seen. And if you're a veteran of this game, and it's one of your favorites, then I'm sorry I played it so poorly, and I slaughtered a lot of people that probably didn't need to be killed. It's just bad luck and also bad judgment on my part, but it all panned out in the end. We won. Eventually, through persistence, we won. The vault is safe, and as long as we don't go back in, push our way back in, and slaughter everyone in there for fun, they'll continue to thrive into the future. I look forward to eventually playing the second game, Fallout 2. It plays very similar from what I've seen. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been the incredible original Fallout game, the precursor to some of my favorite games of all time. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and see you again soon. You saved us, but you'll kill us. You'll kill us. You'll kill us. Remember, guys, leave none alive. Get it? It's a pun, because my name is none. You! Stop right there and face the law! Oh no! A 9mm pistol! How could I defend myself against such a thing? Oh, that's how. What's wrong with you? You turned against us? I cannot allow that. Yeah, try and stop me! As it turns out, we cannot kill the Overseer this way. I don't know why, but they made it so he's got an infinite amount of hit points, because we've been fighting this guy for what feels like an hour, and he does not show any signs of slowing. So we're going to try this a different way. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Hey, Overseer! Fuck you!